Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, Carlita. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Anita. Hello, Amalia. <clears throat> Tatiana, Briseida, welcome. Hello, good afternoon. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, how are you today? Nice, very Hi. well. Okay, that's good for you. Today is like Friday for the English classes, right? Because this is the last class of the week. Tomorrow is free for you. So you can sleep at this time, lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take a nap? Do you usually take a nap after lunch? Yes. Yes, I think it's necessary. And do you eat before the class or after the class? Eat for the class. For the class. Okay, me too. It's just the food is here in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like running because I have to make lunch. Like I start to make the lunch like around 11.40, right? So that I can make it on time for, for the class. Well, we only have, let me see, two, four, six students. Well, then we need to start the class right away. So welcome to class number four. Today's topic is simple present questions. <clears throat> and um, well, can someone tell me what day is today? The date? What Thursday. day is today? Thursday, exactly. Yes, today it is Thursday. Thursday. Very good. It's Thursday. And how do you spell it? How do you spell Thursday? T. T. Yeah. H H U R S D A Y <laughs> Yes, <laughs> thank you, Anita. Thursday, January twentieth. Today's 20th. Oops. I think my keyword doesn't work well. 2022. Today in the morning, I was writing a letter and I wrote January 20th, 2021. And then, no, it's not 2021, it's 2022. Yeah, we are in another year. Believe it or not, almost two years in pandemic. Okay, what are the lesson objectives? Carlita, can you please read the objectives, please? Mm, well, uh, sería lesson objectives. Objectives, lesson objectives. Objectives, lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will be able to do or only one two you will be able oh yes it's only one two <laughs> well by the end of this class you will be able to form simple present questions additionally you will practice a conversation about daily routines which illustrates how this topic use is used in a real life setting. Yes, how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, activities. Let's see another person. What is the pronunciation? Additionally. Additionally, yes, it was correct. Additionally. Additionally. Noemi? Noemi right now, can you please read the activities? in the agenda for today? Thank Activity you. one, recalling previous 
Knowledge. No, knowledge. Activity two, true or false. Activity three, simple present question. Activity four, uh, gua, gua, wrap, 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 Thank you so much, Noemi. Good reading. Okay, so let's start with Where the first. Wrap up? wrap up, the verb wrap is literal, is to do this. Like for example, you grab tamales. You grab tamales, right? Or you grab um, a present or a gift or a gift. Wrap. But in education, right? In the class, uh, wrap is like a gift, review. Grab gift. You grab a, a gift, yes, or a present. Uh -huh. When somebody's uh, birthday, you grab the present, right? And then you give it to the person. So wrap. Is that a wrap up? Is like to it's like to make a rest, a resume, a summary, a summary or review of the class, right? So that we like we wrap your knowledge in your in your mind, right? In your brain. That's the idea. Okay, so with activity one, recalling previous knowledge, let's play it again and practice simple present statement. Okay, so every participant in this game. Are you ready? Are you ready to play the game? Yes, okay. teacher. I like that. I like that. <laughs> so we're going to play, 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 play. Yes. Okay, everybody's going to participate. I'm going to be calling you. Um, I will be calling you one by one. Okay, so the first person, we're gonna do it according to the letters of the alphabet. So a person that starts with the letter A, let me see, let me see, Anna. No, but before Anna, I think it is another one, Amalia, I think. Yes, Amalia, because M goes before N. So, Amalia, give me a number from 1 to 16. Amalia Magdalena. One eh, good afternoon, teacher. Lo siento, este me había levantado. Ah, okay, Amalia, just give me a number from 1 to 16. I'm going, to, oh, guys, I'm going to um, close my camera. I mean, I'm going to turn it off because uh, because of the internet, it's getting a little bit slow if I am using too many things at the same time, okay? So you won't see me, but I am here, okay? So, uh, Malia, one number from 1 to 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or 16. Um, la verdad que no le comprendo ese por lo mismo que le digo que no sé qué es lo que están. A ver, it's a game, it's a game, es un juego. You just ah, okay. have to give me one number and you will see a sentence, you will see some words. With those words, you will tell me the correct form of the simple present. Ya va a ver, cuando ya lo mire, va a ver, ya va a saber qué hacer. Okay. Just give me one number. Give me a number. From uh, one? Five? Number five. Okay, this is a, a name. Dobrusia, it's a name. <laughs> Dobrusia, and we have, have rubber balls. Rubber is de goma. Ball, tiene gomas, perdón, tiene bo, eh, pelotas de goma. Entonces, ¿Cuál sería la forma correcta en esta oración? Mm. Dobrusia. Have. Have. Ok. Dobrusia is she. Is a name of a woman. It's a girl. 
she, third person singular. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la forma correcta? Has. Has, exactly. Dobrusia. Has. Robert Balls. Alemania. Very good. Now, let's see, Ana. Now, Ana, it's your turn, Ana. Twelve. Number? Twelve. Number twelve. Okay. What is the correct form? He? Runs. Runs. Perfect. Excellent. Yes. With the S. He? Runs. Okay. Now, letter B. Byron. It's your turn, Byron. Give me one number. Number two. Number two. Okay. The, these names are very, you know, <laughs> uncommon. <laughs> Yulka, dance. What is the correct form? Yulka dances. Excellent. Yulka dances. Wow, guys. I see that you study it. Briseida, I think it's another, the name of the other, yes, Briseida Martinez. Okay, number seven. Number seven, she? She watches TV. Ex exactly, she watches, she watches TV. Yes, you need to add ES, ES, watches TV. Third person singular. Mm hmm please say that who is next let me see a b c d e f g h i j k carlita carlita tejada it's your turn let me uh nine number nine Oh, okay, uh, it's, it's because this is a game, but we, we didn't do it in teams, but give me another number, please. Ten. I'm sorry? Ten. Ten. Nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> no, nine, no, nine, ten, no, another number. One. Okay, number one. What is the correct <clears throat> form? They, they not? No. They don't walk. Exactly. They don't walk. They don't walk. Mm. Remember that? I told you that I'm pronounce the L. They don't walk. Excellent. Okay, now we go with Noemi. Number four. Number four, yes. You? You was. Your face? Yes, just like that, the same. You wash your face. Yes, you don't change anything. It's the same. Very good, Noemi. Now, Tatiana. Three. Number three. My sister not cook. You need to put the auxiliary for the third person singular. Yeah, my sister not cook, cooks. You need the auxiliary. And now the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary for the third person singular? For he, she, and it. Doesn't. My sister. Uh, not my sister. Doesn't. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Martinez. Welcome to the class. I was I was thinking, what is Mr. Martinez? But um, thank you for being here. 
My sister doesn't cook. That's correct, Tatiana. Okay, now it's the turn of Sulma. Sulma, give me one number. We have 6, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. Sulmita? No. Hello? Give me one number. Please. Yes. Six. Number six. Okay. Yeah. You need to make the sentence. He no wash the dishes. What is the correct form? Uh, he wash the dishes. Okay, but it's in negative means not. To make it negative, we use the, an auxiliary. He we use the auxiliary does not wash the dishes. Exactly. He doesn't wash the dishes. When we use the auxiliary, we don't put the S or the ES to the verb, okay? Okay, nice. Now, Mr. Juan Martinez. Mr. Juan Martinez, now is your turn. Everybody is participating. So you have to choose a number, A, 11, 13, 14, 15, or 16. Mm -hmm. Tell me a number. Uh, 11. Number 11. Okay, we Number have 11. Kate and Ben. You have to form the, the sentence, construct the sentence. Uh, uh, using have or has. No, just con este verbo, with this verb. ¿Solo va a ser la oración? Uh -huh. Si hay que cambiar, se cambia. Si no hay que cambiar nada, no se cambia nada. ¿Qué? In affirmative. Yes, affirmative. Ride and bike. No. Okay. Um, Kate and Ben. Okay. Okay. Um, do ride a bike. Does ride a bike. Okay, in this sentence we have two we have it's um we have two people, right? Kate and Ben. So it's plural, right? Is third person plural, not singular. So we, we just say Kate and Ben ride a bike and that's it, right? Kate and Ben ride a bike, that's it, okay? We don't, it's, it's affirmative. If it's negative, si fuera negativo, solo la pondríamos que. Doesn't. No, porque no es singular, sino que es plural. Tercera persona, plural, tenemos dos, Kate and Ben. Sería como they. Ah, Kate and Ben don't exactly. ride a bike. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Kate and Ben don't ride a bike and that's it. Right? That's it. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Mr. Martinez. Now, volunteers, porque creo que ya pasaron todos. O me quedó alguien. Volunteers, alguien que quiera reivindicarse. Okay, number eight. Briseida, number eight. Okay, Briseida. Okay, uh, my friends jump. Perfect. Okay, another person. Fifteen. 15. Okay, Byron. We don't swim. 
That's correct. Okay, we have three more numbers, three more opportunities, three more chances. 14. Okay, Anita. Después va Carlita, okay. Maciel, listen to music. Okay, Anita. Maciel, listen to music. Can listen. you repeat? Listens, Mas exactly. Listen. Maciel listens to, to music. music because it's third person singular. She, she listens to music. Carlita, you said number 13. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> Carlita, who is that? Carlita, number 15. My father. My father fixes the car. That is correct. My father fixes fixes the car. It ends in X, so you add ES. Okay, very good, excellent. <laughs> everybody, everybody is a winner. Congratulations. <laughs> the gifts are so funny. Okay, so now. Ya despertaron, ¿verdad? Yes, it's Friday. For you, it's Friday. It's Thursday, but for you, it's Friday. Okay, so let's continue with the class. And now we, I have another dynamic. Okay, in this dynamic, it's called the statements about me, information about me. And you will, I will read and you will tell me, true or false if you think it's true or if you think it's false for example i usually eat three pupusas true or false true true yes it's true how do you know <laughs> but if my mom makes the pupusas i eat four if my mom makes them Okay, but I usually eat three pupusas <clears throat> and now they are very expensive. I don't like fish. I don't like fish. True or false? False. 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 It's false. I love fish. Today I had fish for In lunch. So this is false, okay? Next, I have two children. True or false? False. False. True. False. True. I don't know. <laughs> True or false? True or false? Four children. Four children. <laughs> it's false. I don't have children. Yeah, I don't have. Okay, next. I have a cat. False. False. True. <laughs> well, it's false. Right here in my new house, I don't have a cat. I miss my cat. It's in my mother's house. I have, I left my, my cat. So right now I don't have a cat, so it's false. And the last one, I work on Saturdays. I work on Saturdays. True or false? False. True. True. False. True. False. <laughs> it's true, yes, <laughs> sadly. <sighs> yes, I do work on Saturdays. I work on Saturdays so. though. Yeah, sorry for me, but yeah, I work on the morning, Saturday morning. Good, so those were my on statements. Sunday? No, 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 thanks God, I don't work on Sundays. <laughs> I, I'm wor I work on Saturdays because I need the money, but if I had money, I wouldn't work on Saturdays right because you know it's saturday it's the weekend but i need the money so i need i want to save some money to buy a car so i work on saturday okay very good so now guys it's your it's your 
turn. You are going to work in groups. Bueno, first, you are going to do something similar. You are going to write, let's say, three sentences about yourself. Así, similares. Yes, Juan Martínez? No entendí la dinámica. ¿Me puede ver, explicar? Yes, of course. Okay, step number one. Write three statements or three sentences about you. Okay, about you. Mm -hmm. You can make three or you can make four, right? Because of the time, I think three or four. Then in your group, you are going to read your sentences and your classmates will say true or false. Ah, entonces van a escribir ah. ahí unas oraciones sobre ustedes y hagan unas que sean falsas y otras que sean verdaderas. Y después en el grupo usted las va a leer y sus compañeros le van a decir si es cierto o si es falso. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Ok, gracias. Stop speaking. Gracias. <laughs> Just kidding. Ok, so now I'm going to send you to the groups. Los voy a mandar a los break rooms and you have to, you know, eh, say your sentences. En lo que yo hago aquí los grupos, ustedes terminan de hacer, you finish your sentences, ok? Go ahead. I will go for a glass of water because I need some water. Okay, who is going to start? Teacher, una podría ser, I do not read many books. Yes, it's correct. I do not or I don't read many books. Mm -hmm. That is true. Una en incorrecta para que ellos digan podría ser I, I doesn't speak Chinese. Ah, ahí puede ser, usted puede escribir I speak Chinese. I speak Chinese. Ellos van a decir false. Ajá, es que la, las oraciones tienen que estar correctas pero eh, ellos van a decir si es cierto o si es falso. Como yo les puse, I have two children. Tengo dos hijos, but I don't have children. Ok. No yet. Uh -huh. Ok. 
¿Sí? Noemí ya está lista. I think Noemí is ready. Me falta una, teacher. Ok. ¿Y Mr. Martínez? No, no las he terminado. Ay, disculpe, que, que, es que como no estoy en la casa, estoy aquí a, a la mitad en la clase y en la mitad en otras cosas que estoy haciendo. Así que, este, pero, pero estoy ahí, o sea, dos tengo nada más. Vaya, está bien. It's okay, Mr. Martínez. Gracias. Good, I will go and check another group, ok? Please share your sentences. Perdón. Uh, true. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, I love. I have a dog. A little. Lo, a dog. Little. Sería. A little dog. A little dog. Uh -huh. Aha. Aha. Es a little dog. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. True. Eh. False. <laughs> Is because <laughs> yeah, I like play football. I like play football. Play to play. Ah, to play football. True and false. Yes, <laughs> true. My, I like football. I like to play football. Mm, okay. I like to play football. Yes, I see. Uh -huh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Saludos, Miss Martínez. Hola, 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 Yes, teacher. You yes, finished. Teacher. Okay, nice. Okay, we are going to finish the break of rooms. Okay, I think all the participants are back. Thank you. So right here we have a conversation and the conversation is I get up at noon. It's between Jack and Amy. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so right now guys, um, you, will, what, uh, you will listen to this conversation, right? In the, it's in the, in the platform. Okay, at onlinedescorporativo.net. So, yeah, you will listen, read and listen, okay? The conversation.
I don't listen in coach. There's a problem with the video. Um, but anyways, you can hit it uh, by your own, right? Because everybody has access to this, right? I'm sorry, but it's a problem with, the, with this. So sorry. But I have the conversation over here in the presentation. So yeah, you would see it. Um, it says, Jack and A.B. And Amy, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's make a, let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. <laughs> okay, so they are talking about uh, Sundays. What time do you get up on Sundays? On Sundays, I get up at 6.40, 6 6.45. Okay, and you guys, what time do you get up on Sundays? I get up at 6.40, 6.45, or 7 a.m. And you? I get up at 6. You get up at 6. Why? Because I go to do exercise. Ah, you exercise. You do exercise. Yeah. Wow. One day I will be like you. One day. Okay. <laughs> I admire you. And Noemi, what time do you get up on Sundays? I get up at the 7. At 7 a.m. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tatiana, what time do you get up on Sundays? I get up um, at A, at A, at okay. A. So far, she she gets up the, the latest of all, the late, <laughs> the most late. Carlita? On Sunday, uh, I get up sometime 5 a.m. Um, Eight a.m. Why do you get up at five? <clears throat> because my mother has a little restaurant and I help and I oh. and I help her. Nice, congratulations. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Byron, what time do you get up on Sundays? Nine p.m. Nine nine. Nine p.m. <laughs> no, nah, just kidding. Uh, he corrected. I'm sorry. I, I, I am. I'm okay. Sorry, <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Martinez. What time do you get up on Sundays? I get up at at seven a.m. 7 a.m. That's good. Okay, that's reasonable. What do you say that? Um, in my case, I get up at 7 or 8. 7 or 8. Okay, Amalia? I think Amalia has problems with the connection. Okay, anyways. So that, is, that was the conversation about, I get up at noon. The man, what time does Jack get up on Sundays? What time does Jack 
get up on Sundays? Ten o'clock. Jack. Ah, Jack. He says, oh, that's early on Sundays. I get up at noon. At noon. Yes, and what time is noon? Is I think mid yeah. mid Exactly. It's like in this moment, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like 12 from like 12 to 1 p.m., right? Good. And what time does Amy get up? Thank you. At 10 o'clock. Okay. Good. So I have some questions for you. Okay. Raise your hand if your answer is yes, I do. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? You can raise your hand. Wow. No, I'm not. I can't. You don't have a car. But you have a motorcycle. Anita has money. That's why she has a car. Right? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. I have a car. Next question. Do you like sushi? Anita no, likes... I don't. I don't like sushi. No, I don't like sushi. I don't like sushi. Or I dislike is correct. Yes, it's correct to say I dislike sushi. Okay. Question. Does your mother cook very well? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Very well. Yes. Yes. Yes, my mother, yes, my mother yes, cooks very, very, well. very well. Yes, my mother. Well. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she yes. Does. my mom cooks very well too. Okay. <laughs> now, next, does your sister have a baby? Yes. No, she doesn't. My sister doesn't have a baby. And your yes, sister? She... Yes, she does. Okay, Anna's sister has a baby. Okay, does your dog eat a lot? If you have a dog, does your dog eat a lot? Yes. Yes. It, yes, it or oh, it, it. Yes, it does. It does. Yes, it does. Exactly. Exactly. Vaya, miren, lo voy a enseñar aquí algo. Bien bonito. And so the answers, <clears throat> do you have a car? Well, in my case, no, I don't. Okay, that is the short answer. Do you like sushi? No, I don't. Please copy the questions and answer according to your information. If you like sushi, you, you say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. But in my case, I don't. Oh, no, I don't. Does your mother cook very well? Yes, she does. Does your sister have a baby? No. She doesn't. My sister doesn't have any baby. And I, only a dog. That's her baby. <laughs> it se llama Polo, Polito. Okay, does your dog eat a lot? My dog, its name is Apollo. Yes, I do. Yes, it does. It does. Because you're uh, talking about the dog, right? Does your dog eat a lot? Yes, it does. So these are examples of simple present questions. And you can notice the structure. 
we use auxiliary first. For third person is das. Then we have the subject. The subject, you, your mother, your sister, or your dog. Then we have the verb, and the verb must be in the base form. El verbo en su forma base, siempre va a ir en su forma base. Have, like, cook, have, and eat. Y luego el complemento, a car, sushi, very well, a baby, or a lot. Okay, and we have it here. So, what is the structure? Do or does the subject? Teacher, puede regresar la lámina anterior, por favor. Solo quiero tomar una captura de pantalla. Yes, of course, Mr. Martin. Gracias. Ay, disculpen que a veces voy corriendo, pero it's only one hour. It's only one hour. The good thing is that you can watch the, the class later on. In the plat in YouTube, also in the platform. Listo, okay, gracias. you're you're welcome. So we have do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus the complement. Examples. Uh, Anita, can you read the examples? All the the examples. All the examples, please. Uh, do you like pizza? Do you work? Does he get up? Do they go up? Do you do? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so that is, those are the, the I'm, I'm gonna, let me do something here. Voy a eliminar algo. So those are the examples. Please take notes of the structure. Pueden tomar nota de la estructura, ¿verdad? Hmm. Este es en el caso de yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. Entonces, el sujeto puede ser aquí, miren, con do, acuérdense, do. Vamos a ver, do, 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 do. We use do with which subject? I, you, they, and we. With this sub with this subjects we use do do i do i look well me veo bien do i look well right and do you do you like the class do you like the english class another question do they live in El Salvador? Do your brothers live in El Salvador? Do we practice English in the class? Yes, we do, right? Now, we use does, we use does with the third person singular. Remember that third person singular form. Das. Das is only for the third person singular. What are the third person singular? He, she, she, he, he. Remember that these are subject pronouns. Estos son pronombres. Pero usted lo puede aquí eh, sustituir por el nombre. Por ejemplo, Si yo digo, 
Um, yo puedo decir Juan, ¿verdad? Does Juan live in Cojutepeque? Does Juan live in Cojute? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I don't remember. He said one of these days. <laughs> Where do you live, Juan? Ah, uh, <laughs> no sé cómo decirlo. <laughs> Carretera Suchitoto. Ah, Suchitoto, right. Okay, so he he lives on the way to Suchitoto. Okay, does Noemi take a taxi to work? Yes, I take a taxi. Ok, pero si taxi. hago la pregunta en tercera persona, les pregunto a los demás. ¿Does Noemi take a taxi to work? Yes, she yes. does. Yes, yes, she, does. she does take a taxi. Exactly. Entonces. She does yes, take she does. a taxi. Yes, she does. Solo eso sería, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí, por ejemplo, sería yes, y luego cualquiera de, ya sea I, you, they, or we, y luego do. In the negative form. ¿Verdad? En la negativa form sería No I eh, You They Or we Don't Right mm -hmm. <coughs> And with that sería, yes, y usamos he, she, or it, depende, ¿verdad? El sujeto, the subject, it depends on the subject. Or no, he, she, or it doesn't. Affirmative and negative. Short answers. Ok, chicos, recuerden que tienen que completar, ir al día con los ejercicios de la plataforma, ya que depende de eso que ustedes reciban su certificadito. Right? Así es que, just a reminder. Recordatorio. Do you have any questions about these guys? Or is it clear? No, no teacher. Okay, is it clear as the water or as, or as the horchata? It's clear. <laughs> or like Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay, nice. Now, with the WH questions, it's the same. It's the same structure. The only difference is that you add, you add or you put the question word first. The WH question first. Miren aquí, do you work? Yes, I do. Where do you work? I work for Inglés Corporativo, okay? What time does he get up? He gets up at 9 a.m. How often do they go out? They go out every weekend. What do you do? I teach English or I am a teacher. Entonces, solo ponemos la WH question at the beginning y luego es la misma estructura, auxiliar, subject, and the verb. Question word, auxiliary verb, do or does, depending on the subject, and then the verb in the base 
form. Okay. I'm going to send you this presentation so you can take I, you can take notes and you can have this. Right? Bueno, ya no tuvimos tiempo por el practice time, but it's going to be the homework. Okay? The homework. I'm going to send you this link. Pero también quisiera de tarea, you will have three days. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, one day, you do this. Another day, you are going to write, okay? Write 10, yes, no questions, and 10 WH questions, okay? Así que 20 questions at the end. You will have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to make the questions, okay? So can someone tell me what did you what was what did you learn today? ¿Qué aprendimos hoy? What did you learn today in the class? A ver, who can tell me a uh, yes no questions? Ahora háganme preguntas. Si quieren saber más sobre la teacher, uh, may, ask me questions. Vale, todos van a hacer una pregunta si se quieren ir. Si no, no se van. No les abro la puerta para que se vayan. Okay, teacher Ree, do you have a grandmother? Yes, I do. Her name is Alejandra. Bye, Briseida. You can go. Have a nice weekend. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Nico. Where do you live? Ah, ¿quién preguntó? Ah, Anita. Me. I live on the way to Los Planes de Renderos. Do you have a... <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you like pupusas? I love pupusas. Do you have a children? No, I don't have children. Okay. Do you like Do you like dogs? Mm, yes, I do. But I, do I you have a pet? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Very good, Byron. Very good, Anita. Carlita, Zulmita. We are missing Noemi, Tatiana, Juan, and Amalia. Do you have a dog? No, I don't. What is your favorite um, food? That's a difficult to answer because I like a lot of food, but um, I like tacos and burritos. Mexican food is my favorite food. But Tatiana, you have to make a question using do or that. Okay. Hi, teacher. Tatiana, you have to make a question with do or that. Janet, con H. <laughs> okay, Tatiana, think about it. Do or does? It's the question with do. Juan Martinez. How do you like sing? Do you like singing? Do you like singing? Oh. Yes, I do. I like singing in the in the shower. Okay. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, it was a pleasure. It was good to see you. I hope to see you on Monday. Okay, do your homework. Have a nice weekend. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. See you on Monday. Take care. You too. Please don't go out. <laughs> Omicron is in the air. Yes. <laughs> yes, don't go out. Stay home. Stay home. Yes. Bye-bye. Stay home. Mm -hmm. Bye.